In this video, we are going to learn everything about the M142 HIMARS, which is a light multiple rocket launcher system of the United States Army. HIMARS stands for High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. If you understand all the words in this full form, you will understand the purpose of this weapon system. High mobility, that means the rocket system is mounted on a vehicle, more specifically a military truck. These trucks are not regular trucks. They belong to the family of medium tactical vehicles, which can be driven in all kinds of terrain. The HIMARS is powered by a 6.6-liter .6 six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 330 horsepower, providing a top speed of 94 km per hour. This rocket launcher comes in two variants. One of them has six barrels designed to carry six pack of GMLRS, that is guided multiple launch rocket system. The other model has only one barrel for launching one ATA CMS missile, that is Army Tactical Missile System. Now both these variants are surface to surface system, that means with these rockets and missile, you can only target something that is on the ground, like ammunition depot, bridges and other key targets. You cannot use this system to target an aircraft, drones or flying missile. Currently, this weapon system has been manufactured by Lockheed Martin facility in Camden, Arkansas. The average cost of this entire rocket system is around 5 to 6 million dollar. Each GMLRS rockets cost about 100,000 dollar and the cost of one ATA CMS missile is more than 1 million dollar. Currently, the United States operates around 363 HIMARS. The US Army is looking for a defense firm that can manufacture and deliver up to 100 high mobility artillery rocket systems per year. By 2028, the US Army plans to have more 500 HIMARS. The reason behind this decision by the US government is that, as you may know, in the month of July, the US government has given 20 HIMARS till now to Ukraine for fighting against Russia. And the US has given it from its own reserve stockpile. US is also planning to give more HIMARS to Ukraine in the coming months. If you see, this rocket launcher is turning out to be beneficial for Ukraine because Ukraine is using American HIMARS and targeting Russian air defense systems. Ukraine has also destroyed many of their own bridges with this system so that Russian tanks cannot enter the main cities. Then they are also targeting airfields, transportation points, ammunition depot, fuel stations, etc. There are two reasons why HIMARS are turning out to be successful in Ukraine. The missile and rocket fired from this system are high speed and they have great level of accuracy. GMLRS rockets fired from HIMARS can achieve a range of more than 70 km and can travel at a speed of Mach 2.5. And if you decide to fire a single ATA CMS missile, the speed of this missile can go up to Mach 3 and can destroy a target located 300 km away with 1 meter accuracy. HIMARS can be quickly deployed anywhere with the help of a C-130 aircraft and that proves the combat effectiveness of HIMARS. Quite often, the M142 HIMARS are compared with the M270 MLRS. Although if you see both of them are rocket launchers, M270 is heavier and can deliver stronger strike. While HIMARS is more mobile, it can hit and run much more efficiently. Plus, the M270 has 12 barrels, that means it can launch more rockets one after another compared to the 6 barrels of HIMARS. And if you pay attention, M270 has tracks instead of a wheel chassis. It is called M993 Bradley Fighting Vehicle. This system makes the M270 highly mobile like a tank, but the maximum speed it can achieve is 60 km per hour. While HIMARS is powered by a 6.6-litre .6 six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine that delivers 330 horsepower, providing a top speed of 94 km per hour. And needless to say, M270 is more expensive compared to HIMARS. Otherwise, the design is the same and both uses same rockets and missiles. And even the M270s can fire the ATA CMS missile. By the way, here is the list of rockets and missiles that can be fired from M270 and M142 HIMARS. So overall, what you have to understand is that M142 HIMARS can be seen as a half-sized, lighter and faster version of M270 MLRS. Now looking at the success rate of HIMARS, even Poland is going to receive its first batch of HIMARS next year from United States. I think you all will agree with me when I say this. This whole war in Ukraine is turning out to be a supermarket or an exhibition of high-end American military equipments. Especially the European countries are watching the performance of American weapon systems and then they are ordering those weapons and thereby skyrocketing the sales of United States military weaponry in Europe. Orders have been placed for American F-35 fighter jets, Patriot missile defense system and many other weapons. So anyhow, that is just a random observation. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching it.